On this date, we will have $801,000 inside. I mean, come on guys. When they own multiple aisles inside of the grocery store and they have a good dividend payment, they are dividend kings. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna bring you guys my next home brand stock. And it all came to me because last week, I was a little sick and under the weather as you know, a lot of people are back outside, being back close, shoulder to shoulder, back to each other. People not wearing that mask and everything. So germs are starting to spread and I did catch the coming cold. And while I caught the coming cold, I went to the store and bought all the over-the-counter medicine I could. I bought some Vicks, Theraflu, and some more, and all kinds of medicine just to make me feel better. And I got a feeling a lot of people out there is gonna start catching the cold again. And hoping that it's not the virus, you guys are gonna <laughs> take any medicine that you can to make you feel better. So while I was doing all of this, um, buying all of this medicine, it got me wondering who made Vicks, who owned Theraflu, and after doing all of this digging, I found that it was just this one company that pretty much made the whole aisle of medicine. And that company, I'm gonna put a thousand dollars into that company today. So, so make sure that you stick throughout the entire video. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what company that is. And then after doing that digging on what company it was, I looked at all of the other products and they make everything from head and shoulders to Old Spice body wash to personal care. I, I'm, I'm gonna go over everything in this video so make sure you stick throughout the entire video i'm going to go over by the stock and then i'm going to go into exactly what why was the reasons i bought this stock so make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine hit that subscribe button and what's more important is that you guys hit that notification bell right now i think we're sitting around 14,000 people that hit the <laughs> notification bell yeah we got 100,000 subscribers but youtube do not care about that at all it's not for the algorithm what they care about is how many people hit that notification bell right now we're sitting around 14,000. so if we could get that number to around 25,000 of you awesome subscribers to hit that notification bell that would help out this channel a bunch guys but before we dive into it this video is brought to you by weeble click the link down in the description and now they're running a special offer. Now all you have to do is deposit $5 and you can receive two free stocks valued up to $2,300, guys. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and redraw all of your money. It's literally free money. I think this offer is, the offer is so good that it's gonna end in July 20th, so you guys might wanna take advantage of that offer right now. Also, I'm gonna leave a link to Coinbase down in the description. That's by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive into this awesome stock that I'm adding to my portfolio today. Welcome back dreamers, here we are on my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $62,417.25. Over the last month, I'm up 3.76%. I'm up $2,262. Right now in buying power, I have around $1,032.01 of buying power. So we're gonna try to buy as many shares as we can of the company that makes all of it, that pretty much saved me when I was um, sick last week from the coming cold. So the stock that we're gonna be looking at is PG, ticker symbol PG, Procter & Gamble. That's right, guys, over the last year, they're up 11%. They're around $135.98. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, hey, this stock been around, but hey, you have to think about the wave. You have to think about the future, guys. A lot of people are gonna to start to go back outside and hope that they don't catch the pandemic flu. And if they do get the cold, they're gonna do anything they can to recover very fast so they don't have to worry about if it's the the the, uh, the virus or not. So right now, Procter & Gamble's at $135.98. So if we look at them, they do have an awesome dividend yield of 2.39%. So after I go over everything Procter & Gamble have, then you're gonna got, you guys, if you haven't paid attention to them, I know a lot of you investors out there already know everything about what they invest into, but if you haven't paid attention to them, after I tell you everything that they own, you guys are going to be very interested into um, investing into them as well. Because you guys know I love investing in companies that pretty much own a whole sector and a whole bunch of different products. So other companies will be Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson makes everything. And 3M, ticker symbol MMM, they make everything as well. And Procter & Gamble is another company that makes everything inside of the supermarkets. So let's go ahead and dive in, into exactly what do they own and why I'm going to invest into them 
right now. So right now I'm gonna hit trade, hit a buy, and let's see if we could get um, eight shares. Okay, so we could get seven shares of Procter & Gamble, took the symbol PG for $951. Gonna hit review and swipe up. And there we go, guys, when the market open, we should have uh, around $951 worth of Procter & Gamble. All right, here we are over on Seeking Alpha right quick before we go into everything that they own. In fact, let's go over to the Procter & Gamble website first so I can show you guys everything that they own. This is the um, brand page and this is everything they own. They own Loves, Charlene, Banana, All Good, Pampers. So the diaper aisle they got on the control. If we look at Fabric Care, they got Bounce, Cheer, um, Downy, Gang, Tide. So when you really in there thinking who makes more money, Gang or Tide, they both owned by the exact same company, Procter & Gamble. It's really not a competition, guys. We look at Family Care, um, <laughs> Even the, the napkin owl from Puffs to Charmin to Bounty, they own the napkin owl. Feminine Care, they got tampons, tampax, um, grooming. They got um, Gillette, everything Gillette from the shaving cream to the, um, to the disposable shavers. Hair Care, we got Head and Shoulders, Old Spice. I mean, come on, guys. When they own multiple owls inside of the grocery store, this is these and they have a good dividend payment. Now I'm gonna tell you guys right now, they are dividend kings. I'm gonna go over that in just a second, but they <laughs> let's finish this first. That they, they have Head and Shoulders, Old Spice, and others. We got a Home Care right here. They got Game, Febreze, Cascade, Dawn. I mean, they own the dishwasher soap aisle, Oral Care. Come on, dog. Oral B, Scope, Chris. They own that aisle, so when you trying to decide on which toothpaste you should get, don't matter. They own both of them, okay? Personal health care. Here we go. Pepto-Bismo, Vicks. We're going to go back to Vicks in a second. Um, skin care, Gillette again, um, Old Spice, and so forth and so forth. Secret, so that's deodorant. Okay, let's go back to Vicks right quick. If we go inside Vicks, remember, each of these is its own brand, so let's click on Vicks. We're going to click on the website. Here we go on Vicks. Vicks, <laughs> under the Vicks brand, you got um, Dayquil, Nightquil, <laughs> um, Disease, Sinex. So anytime you, you're drinking Theraflu, no, Theraflu is not Vicks, but Dayquil and Nightquil is the go-to for medicine. And these two plus the Vicks Vapor Rub was what made me look into who owned Vicks and goes to show um, Procter & Gamble on VIX and pretty much everything else that you guys are going to see inside of the store, Nightquil, Dayquil, and so forth. So they are balling so Procter and gamble owns the grocery store guys okay if we take a look at the max i know Procter and gamble is at a high price right now they have a big run up and then they pull back big run up and then they pull back another big run up and then they pull back and right now it looks like it's on a big run up so yes i'm probably not buying in at the best price but this is a very long term play for me guys i'm gonna go over that in just a second um, right now they're at $135.90 at the recording of this video. Could it pull back? Um, if you wanted to wait to get in at the perfect buying opportunity, I do not know how to time the market, but it's probably gonna pull back soon and you could get in for a much better price than I got in for. But this is a 10, 15, 20 year play for me. I'm gonna show you guys why in just a second. Let's take a quick look at the dividends. Um, the dividend scorecard, they have increased their dividends over the last 64 years. Anything over 50 years means that they have been inside of the S&P 500 and increased their dividends every single year for the last 64 years, making them dividend kings. There are not that many dividend kings out there, guys, and Procter Gamble is one of them. Um, they pay out their dividends every single quarter. They have a dividend yield of 2.56%, paying out on average around $3.48 for every share that you own of Procter & Gamble. So let me show you guys what I mean by it's a long-term play for me. If we was to invest into Procter & Gamble, here we go on Portfolio Visualizer. If we was to invest into Procter & Gamble for in 2020, right now it's 2021, let's include year to date, and we started off with just $1,000 and, re re and we reinvested. Right now, I currently invest $200 into the stock market every week. That's around $800 a month. So let's go in and type in $800 and we're gonna invest that into it um, monthly. Uh, Rebalance annually, and nah, let's not rebalance. Dividends, yes. Show income, yes. And here we go, we're gonna type in PG for Procter & Gamble. 
100% of our portfolio. So after we hit analyze portfolio, this is us investing $1,000 back in 2020 and $200 every single week um, after that. So here we go, analyze portfolio. If we scroll down, if we invest in $1,000 right now, on this date, we will have $801,000 inside Procter & Gamble, guys. $801,000. That's why I said, hey, I'm just gonna go and buy into it now because if I continue to invest into this company over the long run, it really doesn't matter if I cut it on sale or at the very top. It is a company that have increased their dividends for the last 64 years, guys. So um, this is me in reinvesting $800 a month, starting off with just $1,000. In 2021, I would have $800,000, almost a million dollars, guys. So if we scroll down and look at the dividend payments, in 2000, we will only receive $87 in dividends from Procter & Gamble. In 2010, we will receive $5,000 from Procter & Gamble that year. And in 2020, we, were, we would have received $17,000 from Procter & Gamble. So we're seeing around like every 20 years, it quadruples. So in about year 2030, you'll be receiving around $50,000, $55,000 from Procter & Gamble, so forth and so forth. You could pass that portfolio on to your kids. And then if they pass that on to their grandkids, they would make million dollars every single month in the form of dividends just from owning Procter & Gamble, guys. So that's why I mean that I'm a long-time investor. If I continue investing to this, I'm, I could start pulling out dividends when it's time for me to retire and then pass on this portfolio to my kids when the time when the time is ready after they hit of age, right? So that is Procter & Gamble, guys. So there we go, YouTube. Let me know down in the comment section if you ever used any of Procter & Gamble products before. If you, if you haven't used none of that Procter, if you have never used none of Procter & Gamble products before, that means that you live in another continent. I ain't just talking about another state. I ain't talking about just another country. You live on a completely different continent than North America if you never heard or bought of any of those products that I just mentioned that Procter & Gamble's own. So pretty much if you go to any grocery store, you're gonna see that product on pretty much every single aisle except for the food aisle. So that's why I'm investing into Procter & Gamble. Right now I started off investing by $950. I plan on to reinvest in my dividends right back into that company and picking up more shares along the line. As long as this company doesn't come out with any surprising bad news, I'm going to continue to ride with Procter & Gamble. Let me know what you think about this decision to buy Procter & Gamble down in the comment section. I know a lot of you investors out there are already in it and you've been in it, but there's a new wave of investors out there. I like to teach the youth while you're young and that, that you don't blow all of your money on penny stocks, that you can become rich by investing into these very stable companies that just so happen to pay dividends. So let me know down in the comment section, was this a good idea for me or was it not? But other than that, make sure you pick up your two free stocks by just depositing $5 by clicking the link down below in the um, description by signing up for Webull and get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. It's free money, guys. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.